my wife found me not once, not twice, but three times within the same week dead of a heroin overdose. I was on the border of Mexico, homeless before too long, and gangsters had it out for me, and I was on my way to prison. I lost everything, my family, my home, my kids. I got divorced lost my business, everything was gone. I uh, permanently ruined uh, a nursing career. I found myself with all of my relationships destroyed, my finances destroyed. I was either gonna kill myself or kill somebody else in the process. I've been to prison three times. I was addicted to methamphetamine. I had no hope. I honestly did not think when I walked up to that door that I would ever make it out of my addiction alive. Lifeline Connect is a residential recovery center for men with substance abuse. In the church's ministry, we're always dealing with people who um, had addictions. Our goal and what we found to work is to get to the root of why a man is using drugs. Drugs are just a coping behavior. So um, our thoughts were just to create a safe environment for them, some place they could uh, leave their environment, come to a safe environment, and get the recovery. We're quickly realizing that this issue of substance abuse uh, is no longer somebody else's problem. Drugs affects everyone. Uh, I don't care what walk of life you're in or how much money you have, it impacts people's family. Um, burglaries, uh, robberies, I've seen people sell their children or give up their cars or uh, things of that nature just for to get that next hit. They're children of the Lord just like we are and there, there's no differentiation because we all have issues. Recovery is not behavior modification. Our addictions are embedded into our belief system and so I can preach at you all day and I'm not going to change your beliefs because our beliefs are changed experientially. Okay, so I can't offer heart, heart experiences out of a book. But we can offer heart experiences that involve God. You know, I know I was asked to say why we support this. <laughs> Everything that these men talked about, I did. So. <clears throat> and so it's not, it's not easy for me to talk about it, but I can also tell you it's easy for us to support it. Everybody I know, and I can't exclude anybody, I mean everybody, has been touched by addiction. And it's a growing problem. It's not going to go away without everybody taking some responsibility and giving what they can. And people who can give their dollars should be giving their dollars. It's almost like throwing that pebble into the water where you watch the rings go out a very, very long way. The two employees we have, we couldn't ask for better role models and better employees are so appreciative to have had a second chance and to be into a job where they can really provide for their family. You know, Lands, uh, we're 24-7, 365. And so it's late nights, it's long hours, and it's, uh, it, it, it's on call. So again, that discipline uh, that, that they learn through the program and the accountability is, uh, is a big factor here. It makes me want to uh, contribute back to a program that has helped land so much. We perform a, a precision manufacturing, machining, sheet metal fabrication, welding, and assembly from scientific instruments to medical and uh, scientific diagnostic equipment, uh, defense and homeland security, and certainly is a leap of faith to uh, hire someone that has uh, uh, had some challenges, will they fall back into those ways? Will that impact their performance in the company, our product, our processes, our people in our culture? Like most things, the uh, proof is in the pudding and the, and, and the pudding that we've seen in terms of the graduates in the program coming to be uh, uh, productive and high quality uh, employees here in our company has been excellent. From my knowledge of Lifelines, they have about a 70% uh, success rate, and that's much higher than anything I've ever seen or heard of or from any other program. I, I really like the way Lifeline takes individuals from bad environments and they transplant them into a healthy environment. And once they get them in that environment, they stabilize them, they build them, and then allow them to flourish in that environment. I think the fact that it's a residential program is one of the reasons it works. I like meeting them to find out where they're from and some of them told me, you know, what their experiences were. Lifeline provides that help, and then they provide me with help with my garden, and I'm delighted to have them with us.
One group is working to restore hope in the lives of men who struggle with substance abuse. It's called Lifeline Connect. The program provides practical resources not only to recover from drug and alcohol abuse, but they also are teaching men how to live beyond those addictions. WCI3's Jennifer Jensen is here. And Jennifer, this is more than just a recovery program. Jennifer, many addiction programs last 30 to 90 days. Lifeline goes beyond that to give men long-term help and resources to live a strong life after recovery. The heroin addiction it, it robbed everything of my life. I was in and out of jail. I was in and out of prison. Michael Savage's parents were addicts, and from a young age, so was he. I had been through every treatment center in Missouri. I was shuffled around, you know, uh, from... Uh, from this halfway house to this treatment center and and nothing ever stuck. It just never worked. Many rehab centers provided him with short-term solutions and he describes it as putting a band-aid on something that needs surgery. My family didn't want anything to do with me anymore because I stole from everybody. Nobody could trust me. He realized he couldn't even trust himself, but that's when he found Lifeline Connect. This program has completely changed my life from the inside out. I was able, you know, to forgive myself of all of the hurts and the hang-ups and the junk and the mess and of all the wrong that I had done and I was able to make amends first with myself and then with my family. Lifeline gives men who struggle with addictions a safe place to call home. They take in six men every year and provide them with counseling and resources to recover from addiction and rebuild their lives. Helps you find a lot of those wounds in your life and bring healing uh, to those things.